For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do these two problems that say the two uh, forces F1 and F2 acting on A have a resultant force of F of R on the negative C of negative 100 determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of F2 and then determine the coordinate direction angles of F1 and show them in the figure alright let's start we got f of r which is 0i plus 0j minus 100k we gotta find f of 1 f of 1 has an x component a y component and a c component But f of 1 also has a projection into the x and y plane, and it's what we're going to find first to be able to find the x and y values. This projection can be found by doing f of 1 cosine of 50. As you can see, f of 1 forms a 50 degree angle with this projection given right here, which is equal to 38.6. Now that we have this projection, we can find the x component and the y component by multiplying the projection the projection the x you can find it by multiplying it by the cosine of 30 to get this vector right here and this is the angle it forms with it and you can find the y component by multiplying it by the sine of 30 these two values come out to be 33.43 but it's negative because notice that it's going in the negative x-axis and 19.3 and that will be this value right here now the c can be found by finding this value and you find this by doing f1 sine of 50 degrees this angle given right here and it's equal to negative 46 so f1 comes out to be negative 33.43 i plus 19.3 j minus 46 k let's find f of 2 we know that f of 2 is equal to x because we're trying to find it plus y j plus c k so we're gonna add this number with this x this 19 with this y this negative 46 with this c And we're going to equal them to the resultant force and we're going to form our equations our first equation is x minus 33.43 is equal to zero so x is equal to 33.43 the second equation is y plus 19.3 is equal to zero so y is equal to negative 19.3 and our last equation is c minus 46 is equal to negative 100 so c is equal to negative uh, this is 54 5 4 so these are the values for f2 negative 33.43 i minus 19.3 j sorry this is positive this is an equal, it's not negative. And negative 50, this is a 4. Negative 54, k. Okay. And they want the direction angles for uh, this value, so we gotta find f of 2, the magnitude of f of 2. 
and to do that we do the square root of the x component the y component and the c component squared and added together and you're gonna get that f of 2 is equal to 66.4 this is the magnitude and to find the angles you do the cosine inverse of the x over f of 2 cosine inverse of the y over f of 2 and cosine inverse of the c component over f of 2 so you divide this by this the y by this and the c by this you do the cosine inverse of set number and you find the three angles that it forms with each of the axes which are 59.77 degrees 106.9 degrees and 144.4 degrees this is for F2 and the magnitude and they want us to find uh, the same thing but for F1 the magnitude of F1 was given at the beginning is 60 so for F1 the coordinate direction angles are the cosine numbers of the X component over F1 cosine numbers of the Y component over F1 and cosine numbers of the C component over F1 this is the X component this is the Y component this is the C component this is F1 uh, magnitude so when you plug those numbers in you're gonna get that the angles are 123.9 degrees 71.2 degrees and 140 degrees this is a magnitude these are the angles for F2 magnitude final answer